What's up YouTube? It's Hoob with Hoops Garage here. I'm going to be doing a tool review Tuesdays a little earlier this week because I got a new phone today and I just wanted to make a video to see how it worked. And so far I'm not liking the phone at all. But got this uh, set of Carlisle nut drivers here from Napa. And these are normally like 80 bucks, but I just happened to catch these on sale for, uh, I think it was 33. So I picked up the uh, metric and the standard. Uh, we're gonna check them out here. I've already opened the standard one. Yeah, start out at a half inch here. It goes down to uh, three sixteenths. That's seven seven sizes in each one. And for our metrics here, to open these ones. Thought that was a really good deal. I don't know why they were so cheap. I don't know if they're clearancing them out or what. We got a see what is that? Eleven millimeter clear down to five millimeter on the metrics. Got a real nice handle on them. Like all the different colors. Of course, I like the orange one the best. It's the favorite color here at Hoob's Garage is orange. The only downfall I see to these, I did not realize they were going to be this big. It's going to take up a lot of space in the toolbox to set these in there. This really works better if you have a really big toolbox. I'm just putting them in that U.S. General cart. We'll try to fit them in there before the video is over here. Yeah, it's just a quick video I wanted to make. I don't know if that sale's still going on or not. But kind of surprised me that they was that cheap. I got both sets for 60 bucks. Normally one set alone is 80. So let's run over the toolbox now and see if we can figure out a place where we're going to put these in there. Okay, so we're going to try to get these in the toolbox here. And this is not going to work out as planned at all. I bought them to replace this set because I thought it took up too much room. And I wasn't going to get rid of these. I was just going to throw these on the workbench over there. But as you can see, that's going to take up even more room. So Now, I really don't know what to do with them. I mean, they're really sweet. I really like them. I'm going to try to figure out some place to put them. These would really work better if you had one of those big toolboxes. Now I have a big Craftsman box that I haven't got in here yet. That's kind of why I've put off doing a toolbox tour because I'm just now moving into this garage and I haven't really got everything set up the way I want it yet. I guess I need to put my gloves that way. I'll definitely put the metrics on the bottom. So they fit in there that way for right now. The only thing is I'm going to have to pick these up every time I want a metric one. But for right now, I guess that'll work okay. I'll go ahead and put these ones on the workbench. But yeah, that's really not working out as planned there. Yeah, that's not even going to let the door close. Need to give me one of them holders to put my gloves in. But for this week's uh, tool review on Tuesday, I'm going to try to get around to doing that toolbox tour. I've got this one loaded up just about with everything I need. By the time I get my other box up here and get everything in a certain place, hopefully I can get that done this week. Uh, this is Hoob with Hoob's Garage. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next one.